Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today is the beauty room tour, which you guys have been asking for. I am so excited for you guys to see this video. I was really contemplating on giving you a makeup collection and beauty room tour, but there is just so many things to talk about that I would probably have a makeup collection in a later video. Because right now, the room is already set the way that I love it. I've been sitting in this room and working in it for about two months now and apart from traveling I haven't had time to organize all the makeup that I have been getting and purchasing um, throughout my travels so with that being said this video is just gonna be the beauty room decorative form and function portion of my channel and this beauty office space and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up um, I hope you guys like my blue eyeshadow today. I worked really hard on it on Periscope and Snapchat. Um, tweet me what's your favorite part. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let's get right into the beauty room tour. Okay, guys. This is the video you all have been waiting for. It is my beauty room tour. Yes! I'm so excited for you guys to finally see it. I am officially done decorating. This is it. It is complete. It is done. The only thing that isn't complete is the actual storage. So the drawers just have random stuff in it. But I'll start off with this corner right here. This, oops, you can see my reflection. Pretty much everything in this room is from... Um, Pier 1 and Z Gallery and Home Depot. Not everything, just Z Galleries is quite expensive, so um, yeah. I just got little knickknacks from Home Depot, Home Goods, and everything. So this chest is from Pier 1, and no, I'm not naked, I'm not wearing a dress, I'm wearing like a little robe, but it is from Pier 1, and it's the Hayworth silver chest. I love it. It's not all mirrored, this part is wood right here. And this is like a chrome and then it's really really cute and I took a long time measuring this corner because this is like a tri window right here I don't know if you guys can see it I'm gonna get real personal but yeah it's like a triple window and I wanted to make sure there was enough room for the curtains as well as the dresser and I absolutely love it I kind of wanted this corner right here to be my silver corner. This was also from Pier 1. I was debating on getting a similar one like this color. They have one this exact color. But this was on sale and it was all silver and I decided to make this my silver chrome corner right here. So I got a silver lamp and it matches my YouTube play button which I just got for hitting 100,000 subscribers. And let's go on to the knickknacks. So this is my Scorch plus size magazine cover and I wanted to put it next to Caitlyn's because you know we are changing the world and I have this chrome little I guess gravy boat looking thing for like keys and sunglasses um, my friend left his sunglasses so I thought I would leave it here for him and this is the makeup forever artist plexiglosses and then some beauty blenders that I got from them at IMATS and then a fan gave this to me she mailed it in my PO box and it's a boxing glove and it says it's whether or not it's not whether you get knocked down it's whether you get up so this is so cute and I wanted this in my room and this is absolutely like my favorite and I keep all my techie stuff and my um new makeup that I haven't unboxed yet and then yeah that's pretty much it and this is the light this artistic light gallery light from Ikea I thought Ikea discontinued it because I've seen them before and I don't want to pay a hundred dollars for one I believe they're like 30 bucks and it's really nice if you want to like um light up your artwork and it lights the um the tabletop perfectly and I love it so um in decorating this room I had started with the base I knew it was imperative to start with like the paint color so I saw my friend Nitra B had painted her um, master bedroom gray hey Nitra and she like sparked my interest so I was like I want to do gray because it looked so beautiful and then uh, we don't have crown molding in our house so I was like I want crown molding I want um gray wall so that's what I started with and then I picked an accent color Color, which brings me to my draperies so my draperies right here are from Z gallery and there was no other color like this and there are not a lot of things from Z gallery in this room just a couple pieces because Z gallery is expensive um, 
This is from Z Gallery 2, this orchid thing. I wanted something really tall and dramatic. That was the biggest um, plant that I had seen. And yeah, so, oh, these mosquito nets, these were $4 from Ikea. And the curtain rods were a total of like, what, $10 for, I guess, all the pieces. I picked two long rods and then the rod holders. So I have one holder, two holder, three like hooks to anchor them. And then they are anchored by separate rods. In case this gives you guys an idea at home, if you want to do this in your beauty room or your bedroom. And then I had a family friend install the um, crown molding for me. And I picked them out at Home Depot. And mind you, I bought a little, like a couple things at a time. I didn't buy everything at once. So yeah, this is it so far. And let's go to the couch. This is one of my favorite spots ever. This is where I filmed my August favorites, in case you guys are wondering. This couch and this, um, what, footrest is from Pier 1 as well. This throw I had got for Christmas, my dad for Christmas, but I made him put it in here because it's cute. And then um, these pillows are also from Pier 1. So that's funny that the color, this peacock color, was from Z Gallery, and then the pillows were from... Pier 1 and it just matched perfectly and I saw these two right next to each other so I assumed that they were supposed to go together because it kind of has like the cream and the brown and the teal and then this pillow um, I don't know if you guys remember I went to the Bahamas and I was able to go to the Bahamas because I had to run to Atlanta to get my passport in the Bahamas so while I was waiting for my passport to expedite I went and shopping and I found this pillow at I guess the paper it's like that craft paper store and I thought it would go perfect with my bedroom once it was done so this was kind of like one of the very first pieces that was the inspiration to my beauty room and then right here I have some magazines and then a picture of Manny and I to cover my address um this back table right here is from pier one as well i it's like a skinny glass table and i don't know if i wanted to get a long table or a short table by the way this is a, a love seat not a couch it's a very small couch um love seat and this is also kind of the continuation of the silver theme so it kind of goes from this side to the next side i hope this video isn't boring but yeah, so this is my NYX Face Awards. Um, what is this? Kinetic Award. It's three lipsticks. And then I got um, this perfume, Cinderella perfume, with a boxing glove. And then I found the star at Target. Again, this plant here, this fake orchid plant, was from Z Gallery. Um, this lipstick holder, I have no lipsticks to put in it yet because I haven't organized. This is from Juvia's Place. It's super awesome. It holds so many lipsticks. And I have a link down below if you guys want to check that out. Also, this coral, I wanted to add a little bit of earth and sea. So this coral is also from, whatchamacallit, from Z Gallery as well. Oh, and this rug is one of my favorite parts of the room. It kind of just draws the room together. It is so, so, so soft. I try not to record on here in case I get makeup on it, but um, the reason why I had the rug and the couch right next to the computer, because if I get tired sitting for so long editing, then I'll just make my way to the couch and kick back my feet. And I like this couch because it kind of had like a slant to it. And then if I get tired of the couch and want to just like stretch out fully, then I can just go to the floor. So that was just my intentions. And which brings me to the computer area. Let's start. Let's start far away. Yes, I'm playing my video. So you guys, in case you guys don't remember. But um, yes, these two chandeliers here are from Home Depot. They are so inexpensive. But they look inexpensive. They are only, I think, $70 because this is all plastic, you guys. You hear it? It's it's plastic. It's not glass. So um, I opted for the frosted bulbs. That way the, um, the light on the wall, like the shadow, would be a lot softer. If I had picked like the clear ones, then it would have been a lot harsher. And then, which brings me to one of my favorite corners right here, which is my memory wall I guess this is like um shelves from Ikea they discontinued these so there was a long one of this and then um I cut this one in half well my dad did for me and then we made a new hole and this is kind of like an art gallery shelf 
this was when we went to I Am At To Have Sandra, Alex Faction, me and Manny, and Anastasia was sitting at the table with us with Norvina. And um, I found, oh, these were from Smashbox. Um, when I shot at Smashbox, they're so, so, so cute. Like, it's amazing. This year has been so, so awesome. So many memories I want to remember. And this board I saw at um, Target, Target, and I loved it because it was like a little bit of that earthy vibe because I have a lot of like glam and gray and teal. I wanted like some earthy feature to kind of break up the space. So this says do what makes you oh so happy. And then I found out it's like exactly the same size as my Benefit um, Very Real um, collection. Um, which was their campaign they had for the summer. Oh my god, my Benefit video was playing. Um, but yeah, that's so funny. My Benefit video was playing while I was talking about Benefit. But yeah, if you haven't checked out this video, check it out. There's the box. See? Um, so now moving on to the desk. This is the desk area. Oops, oops, oops. I almost fell. Okay. Now that you don't fall. Okay, let's talk about the desk. I think this is part of the every YouTuber... Um, starter kit like you have to have these Alex drawers with the white tabletops so they're super inexpensive they store so much and they're customizable so I thought I wanted when I first looked at this room this used to be an old living room it's not a separate bedroom like as you can see my dining room my family dining room is on that side and my parents just let me take this and turn it into a um, beauty room slash office so with that being said I knew and I measured out everything. So when you're decorating your space, I would say just think of all the big pieces first and then add the little trinkets and everything later. So start from the biggest items like the wall, what color, the crown molding, the lights, I knew I needed light and the table and I measured the couch and everything. But anyways, moving on to, de to the desk, I knew I wanted three drawers. I, well, I knew I wanted a makeup place and an editing space. So that's what I did. And then, so I got these three drawers, Alex drawers, and then the tabletop that I got is joint right here in the middle. And it is just perfect. It fits so perfect on this wall. And then I have my vanity side, which I will get to. And then I have my office space over here. I knew I wanted a white chair, um, that was ergonomically friendly for my back, for my body, which I really wanted to be comfy in. So I looked all over online and I found this, believe it or not, at walmart.com. Guys, I swear this chair was, I think, $120. The Z Gallery one, you know that fancy Z Gallery one that has like the rivets and that's really, really skinny and stiff? That's not really comfortable for your back, especially if you're doing computer work all day. So I wanted something white that can go with the flow of the room. And I found this white chair from Walmart and I, and I literally put it together in like 10 minutes. Oh, and this pillow is amazing. It's fluffy. It goes with like the color theme. It's a different shade of blue and it helps my back too, or sometimes I'll bring it on the floor and lay on it. Um, but this one is from Pure One. So moving on to the desk, I have my Lash Cubby here. This is really, really, really cool. I've been getting a lot of questions on it on Periscope. So you can literally put your lashes on here. And then um, I have extra lashes down here. Agents makeup, uh, Lily lashes, and that. Oh, and I have all my Polaroids here. These are like so cool. Oop. I like to kind of keep the memories and I have a little Polaroid camera. I have these coasters for whenever friends come over. These came with the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. So cool. And then the Benefit gave me one too. Looking good is the best revenge. Amen, Benefit. They are so cute. Oh, and then one of my subscribers gave me this cup. And it says have courage and be kind. And then it has like um, green, white, and black polka dots. And they gave me this wine glass too. And it says Patrick Star on it. And then on the back it says, yes. So, so, so cute. Um, and this is where I edit. I have my hard drives. Oh, and then I have this L magazine of Miley Cyrus because I think she looks flawless. And there's some blood from my Paranormal Activity um, video when I was, this, this video actually. And then um, this is my mouse pad. So I think it's like a cute twist on a mouse pad. 
I keep everything here. This one, I keep my Formula X um, cuticle oil, so it reminds me whenever I'm like re replaying my video or watching it play back, I'll just put some cuticle oil on and watch my video. And then this is a salt um, holder for the kitchen. And I keep my contacts and my memory cards in there. So it's a really cute way to store your stuff. Um, and these are things that I need on my desk. I have to have them. I know it looks kind of messy. Um, but these are the cameras that I have. This is my vlogging camera. The one that I'm recording on is my Instagram camera. If you guys want a review on any of these cameras and, of course, the GoPro, let me know. And this is kind of like the centerpiece that draws the room together. Oh, let me show you. Okay, so in my room, my bedroom before, I had the old vanity that you guys maybe or maybe not have seen. And I have this switch here, which is where? It's right there on the bottom, and mm -hmm. it activates the light. So if I don't have these on and I want to save energy, I'll just literally sit here and I'll just leave it under my desktop and I will turn it on. So that's pretty cool. Um, so Candace and I, if you guys don't know Candace, she's one of my best friends. Um, she helped me decorate this room and helping me decide yes or no. So I wanted a piece of artwork because without this painting, if you look at it honestly, there is no color. Like, it's white, gray, and then white from the crown molding, and then chrome, and then the vanity is white, the computer's chrome. So I needed something on this wall to have the same effect on this wall, like the curtains, that would bring continuity into the room and round it out. So even like the little benefit box right there adds continuity and color to that corner and then also this corner too so this canvas i found at like this home and goods home goods um store and it was i believe like 60 bucks and it's huge and i thought if i made it vertical i think it's meant to be um horizontal but if i thought if i made it vertical it would act as a room divider um with the vanity and the computer desk and back to there, I found this clock at Home Goods. I thought it was a really different twist on a clock. And it was square and it's huge and it's that touch of chrome that I like. And then I have my white. You guys can see a theme. I have chrome, blue, and white. And this is this embodies the whole theme of my room. And um, this notebook I found um, at Office Depot. It says some people dream of success while others wake up and work hard at it. And I have wrote so many notes in here. I wrote all my lines from the Nick Space Awards when Alex Faction and I, we were doing like our lines. Like Alex says, hey girl. I say, OMG, I need your help. So this is kind of like cute memories and this video took so long to edit. And I have my Polaroid camera I got from Best Buy. I have my candle. This is cream brulee from Yankee Candle. This vase is from Z Gallery. And I was going to get a chrome one, but I thought it would just flow really nice with the finish of the white table. And this is kind of like a shiny thing too. And then um, this um, fake flowers um, are from Z Gallery. And I knew I needed yellow in the room. I just felt like it needed yellow because there was no yellow in this painting. And I thought a pop of orchids or yellow, something or both, yellow orchids, would be great for the room. And I, this is three. This is one, two, and three pieces. And they're fake and they're beautiful. I love them. I love them. Um, so moving on to the makeup side, I have this, what, this ghost chair, this acrylic chair from Ikea. I think everybody has one. And then this pillow is green. I wanted like a pop of a different color on this side. And this one is from, what is this from? From Pier One. So mainly all the furniture, the chest, the couch, the love seat, the ottoman, and then the rug, and then the pillows are pretty much from Pier One. So this is an acrylic organizer I have. And then, like like I said, my makeup is not organized, but um, I'll go into the makeup later in another video. But these ones I got from the same store that I got here in Orlando, where I got this um, this painting. All the, the 
I, I will try to link as much as I can in a video. And then this mirror, this is how I look like you guys. This is from Vanity Girl Hollywood. And um, yeah, so I thought it'd be cute to get a P and an S for Patrick Star. S is also my real last name, Simone Beck, a Filipino last name. And I have this cute little um, dispenser for brush cleanser. I thought I would just keep this here for brush cleanser, but nothing, no brushes is organized or anything. This Vanity Mirror is from Target. That is my phone. Okay, back to where, sorry about that, I had a call. But yeah, this is my makeup for the video. Anyways, um, yeah, this is another lipstick holder from Zara Beauty, a cube um, from Zara Beauty as well, and then the behind the scenes of like the ugly part. This is kind of like how I film, like what I film. So if, oh, there's Peter and Paul. If not, um, filming here i'll film here this is actually linoleum if you guys want to see my lighting setup and whatnot let me know i have a monitor a ring light two soft boxes a canon t5i a couple different lenses this is like a picnic table that i have and then here's my pro makeup if you guys want to see a pro video on how to get like pro discounts certifications or anything let me know because i have a bunch of exciting news for you guys um these are um, packages that I have not unboxed, a mirror, and that concludes the beauty room to a uh, tutorial, the beauty room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too shabby. I hope it was just enough chic. I hope it slayed your life just a little bit. And I love you guys so much. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.